Imagine living under a constant rain of rockets. You have 15 to 90 seconds from the moment a siren wails to find shelter before impact. This was the terrifying reality for thousands of Israelis living near Gaza. A conventional army can't stop thousands of cheap, short-range rockets. A new kind of defense was needed, a shield that seemed like science fiction. The challenge was immense. How do you shoot down a $500 rocket without using a million dollar missile? This was known as the golden bullet problem. For years, experts said it was technologically and financially impossible. Early ideas included giant lasers or a massive machine gun in the sky. But in 2005, a brilliant engineer named Ganny Gold championed a radical idea, a smart, mobile system that could calculate a rocket's trajectory in seconds and only intercept the ones that threatened populated areas. This idea became the Iron Dome. It has three key parts. First, the radar. It detects an incoming rocket and tracks its flight path. Second, the brain, the battle management and control center. In an instant, it calculates if the rocket is a threat. If it is, it gives the third part the command to launch, the interceptor. The Tamir missile doesn't need a huge warhead. Its genius is its proximity fuse. It's designed to explode right next to the enemy rocket, shredding it in mid-air. Developed in record time with significant U.S. funding, the Iron Dome was first used in 2011. It has since intercepted thousands of rockets with a reported success rate of over 90%. It's a technological marvel, but also a symbol of modern warfare. It's not a permanent solution, but a life-saving shield that buys time. The story of the Iron Dome is a powerful reminder that sometimes the most innovative technology is born not from a desire for conquest, but from the desperate need to survive. Don't forget to share this story with your friends.